you want to tell, for, frighten an African, just tell, tell them I'll beat you. In normal English, that is metal diet. I will undress myself if they are trying to remove my, 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 my dresses on me. I feel like grabbing that man and destroying him to pieces. Guide me all the great Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugandans will live to remember the recently concluded local council elections. Voting by lining up dearly caused some candidates who were humiliated when only one or two voters lined behind them. This man has a royal wife who stood behind him. She fulfilled the marriage vows to remain with her in good and bad times. As for this man, he looked behind hoping to get more supporters. But only this young man was with him. Where was his wife or girlfriend? It seems you don't have work, you young man. <laughs> and when others lost, they got angry and wanted to fight. What is your problem, you loser? No, the police cannot be with. I took a cocoon of Rebecca. Go away, or else police will handle you with a firm hand. <laughs> I think you can and should reject lining up like many have shined the OTT tax. Honorable Finance Minister Matia Kasaija, why don't you remove the OTT tax? Then on the TTO. Honorable Minister. You even don't know the tax you introduced a few months ago? <laughs> you should really laugh at yourself. So, is it OTT or TTO? TTO. 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 The finance minister is not well versed with the taxes he introduced. I am also, I am also a human being. <laughs> you better apologize to parliament for your mistakes. I did apologize yesterday to the caucus, now I'm apologizing to the entire house today. But as Honorable Kasaija was apologizing, NRM Chief Whip Ruth Nankabira was silently communicating to opposition MPs. Your guess is as good as mine. All right, Nankabira, we have already seen your FDC symbol. You also have to apologize to NRM caucus for this abomination as I Engage this woman who drinks like there is no tomorrow. What is your name, lady? Sabatra, International Uganda Kampala. Oh, my God. Sorry, this is a man. But seems he's a comedian. Give us a commercial break, please. That is enough. But you speak some English? English? Mm. People nothing to you to play, nothing to you to support. Mm. Yeah, you kill my dad is on you. Is that the Queen's language? Yeah, yeah, what is it? Please, please, speak what we understand. People nothing to you. I don't combine you. People nothing to you. People nothing to you. People nothing to you. This is a bad I give up. Just give us another rap. Can you also give us such a dance, sir? Dancing as if I'm a mad person. <laughs> that is thing. Those voters who have come here will excuse me. So, what happens if you dance like that, man? I might be declared a person and a curator. So, for security of my family, I'm not going to, 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 to act as a rumpen. But why are you putting on that rosary? Haven't you put on a pant? I asked about the rosary. Yes. If you are a Catholic and you never put on a, uh, this rosary, you'll be like a man who has never put on a pant. All right. Anyway, have you fulfilled all the Catholic requirements? I've finished all the main sacraments, confirmation, baptism, and matrimony. matrimony. And when are you performing the matrimony? And the matrimony I will not do because I have many wives who want me to be their husband. So that one they will excuse me. You are proud of being a Catholic, but you are so drunk. No, 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 no. Catholics will drink even if we are in the church. Right now I can show you I'm even sipping. 
If you can give me one towel, then I'm going to fill it. What about the national animal? Pork. Pork. Pork we eat it in, in all varieties. Variety number one? This mouth of the pork is very good. Variety number two? The fat. Heripotichua AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. So I divide people to eat pork or more. May I know you most, sir? Say what, Paul? I'm of the Mbogo clan. Educational background? I went from Entebbe. I went to school in Entebbe Senior Secondary School. That's where I completed my ordinary level in 1983. 1986, I was at Old Kampala Senior Secondary School for my advanced level. So, what is your profession now? I did a crash course in law. So, it means I'm a paralegal. I worked with the Entebbe Municipal Council as a revenue officer. Then I went to, in the public service as an account assistant. Then up to now, in 1997, up to now, I'm self-employed. Very rich CV, Sewat Paolo. If you have any question, you ask. Ah, Agnes Nandutu. Point blank. <laughs>